Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee to visit with my good friend Corky Coker and check out some of the cool cars in the Coker collection. Now, the Coker family's been restoring and collecting cars for generations, and it borders on an obsession with these folks. But you know what? I'm gonna let Corky tell you all about it. Corky, how you doing, buddy? Hi, Dennis. <laughs> oh, Thanks for coming to Chattanooga. I love it down here. I just feel I feel at home. You know what I mean? Well, we're glad <laughs> to have you. Well, you got a couple out that we're gonna talk about a little bit more. What do you, what uh, what do you got for this, me today? This uh, this car is a 1914 Mitchell. It's a six-cylinder, 660 cubic inch car, and it will go down the road with seven passengers just as fast as you want to go. <laughs> well, you can put more than seven in this one. I'm, I'm telling you, that is absolutely <laughs> the, the case. That is, an, that is a 14-passenger, 1936 white Yellowstone bus. It was used in Yellowstone for almost 20 years. You've know, you got pretty extensive collections in the family. Your dad's got a heck of a collection of uh, brass air cars. Sure does. Actually, in this building, we have a, a number of Thomas Flyers. There's a really interesting 1914 case there that was a automobile salesman's car sold the scene headlamps and it's got a cutout switch that you kick down and the exhaust flows up through a keyboard and you can play and it gets a crowd really interesting car it's got a 1912 Nyberg but in your collection downtown what all, what all you got there my wife and I have a number of cars I've got uh, a 1960 National V12 uh, we've got some antique trucks, we've got uh, GTOs, I'm pretty much into muscle cars, got some British cars, got a bunch of bikes. I'm really into Excelsior motorcycles and antique Harleys, so, uh, you know, like I said, can't help it. If it's, it's a disease. If it's internal combustion, you're there. Right? I love it, man. Well, hey, let's dig into a couple of these in, you know, in a little bit more depth. What do you say we start with the Mitchell? That sounds great. All right, let's do let's it. Check it out. Okay, Cork, 1914 Mitchell, teach me. <laughs> this car is probably one of the most ultimate muscle cars of its day. For a 60 horsepower car, think of the roads in 1914. There are not too many places that you could open up all those 60 horses and go straight and go fast. A long baby though. Very right? tall car. It's got uh, 27 inch wheels on it. They're uh, what is called demountable detachable. That means the rim slides off. And one interesting thing about this car, Dennis, it's got the two spares on yeah. the rear. A lot of the a lot of the people that that toured back in, and and drove their cars back in that uh, day would determine how far they were going based on how many flats they had. So <laughs> they had two spares so that you know that you can get from point A to point B. You do have some serious leg room here though, don't you? You really do. It's a you know it's a great neck and car. Can we say that on a My Classic car? I think you can. You I think can? You can. Okay. It's great neck and car. You got plenty, like of, plenty of back seat room. And I love the grab bar too, man. That's that's for crazy drivers like crazy you, right? And I'm a crazy you driver. Are, I know, I know that for a fact. But boy, there's a lot of stuff going on in the dash that you don't see today. And uh, tell, tell me what You know, that's what true. This, uh, it's a dual point ignition. You can either run it on magneto or battery. What's the little pump on the uh, column? This actually is not a pump. That's, that's the choke. Uh, you oh, know, these cars okay. are pretty cold natured. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, when you're starting it and you start it on battery, switch the switch over, start it on battery, uh, hit the starter. Well, what pushes this monster down the road? Well, let's see that. <laughs> this is a, uh, this is a six cylinder, 600 and cubic, uh, 660 cubic inch T head engine, dual point ignition. So you got two plugs on each cylinder. Um, you can see the big magneto. This is my driver. That's why it's all oily. I don't care. I just enjoy you just doing have it a good time and get out in it and go. Well, it's, a, it's, it's a great looking, great looking wild engine. I mean, obviously a use a user. Um, yeah, can, it's, we, can we use it today? Let's do it. You want to go for a ride? Let's do it. Do I want to go for a ride? Yeah. Here okay. we go. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to My Classic Car. All right. Let's do it. Uh, oh, I fit nicely. Yeah. How long 
did Mitchell make cars? They sold out to another company in the 20s, but quite frankly, I think they lost a lot of their design. They were really wonderful, massive cars in the teens, but um, you know, in, in the late teens, about 1919, they kind of turned into a you know a third tier car. Uh, they, weren't, they weren't quite as good looking. But, but they were still called Mitchells? Still called Mitchells. This is a three-speed. It's a reverse eight shift pattern. So first gear is over near you, and it's obviously not synchronized clutch. Obviously. So, uh, you know, you got to kind of double clutch it sometimes. and Even going up. Even going up, absolutely. You're playing around with your playing around with spark advance. Uh, basically, I, when I started off, I just advanced it completely. And and you know we have put a uh, a fuel pump, an automatic fuel pump, electric fuel pump on this car, just because it's uh, a little bit easier to motivate and a little bit easier to get around. Good downshift there. Yeah, man. You've done this before, though. I've right? done this. You have before. done this before. And then would this blue have been a, a color you would have had in 14? Exact correct color. Really? Yeah. And there they would have pinstriped it too? Pinstriped it. Very, you know, it, it was a $4,000 car, whereas, you know, Henry Ford made those cars in any color you wanted as long well, as it was black. As long as it was black. As long as it was black. <laughs> and probably it's a, a bit of a fraternity that, that owned Mitchell cars. I mean, there can't be many of y'all out there. It sure is. There's, that there's, is right. That's y'all, right? Y'all. I got that, that. Y'all. You, you yeah. got that right. All right. Hey, you're learning. I might give you a green card to the south pretty soon, didn't I? But it is a fraternity. You know, the people that, you know, the problems that we come up against and, you know, the, the cars have, have symptomatic problems that are all the same. So, you know, we just get to learn them and uh, then we can share our ideas and how we fix them. And it's, you know, great fun. Man, what a ride. Did you enjoy that, Dennis? Okay, I did enjoy that. Oh, well, fantastic. That is I, sweet. I am pleased. But how about that bus? Welcome back to My Classic Car. Corky, that was awesome. Great ride. Oh, huh? man, what a mention. But look at this, baby. A tour bus. A this tour is, bus. This is the ultimate tour bus. Can we get in? Let's, let's get in. <laughs> It was made by the White Corporation. It's a 1936 White, made specifically and designed for Yellowstone. They also used them in Glacier and yeah. a number of other parts. Like National Park bus. National so that, Park that's bus. why we've got this, this open top. Doesn't it get wet when it rains? Perfect panorama. But it's got a uh, canvas top that rolls back. There's a compartment back behind us here, behind the fourth row of seats. And, and it's latched down by boatman hooks so that uh, you're, you're able to see the wonderful scenery of the Yellowstone National Park, the peaks and the, and the mountains and the snow cap uh, cover. But if it rains, you can Pan cover around. it back up. You can put it back up and you can also roll up the windows. Even roll up windows. Yeah, Even I, roll up windows. And such comfort for 1936. It actually is. You know, these are very, cushy seats. <laughs> very comfortable. Can seat four people side to side, four rows of seats. It's the way that they got folks from the edge of the park all the way to uh, Yellowstone Lodge. And it's like 40 miles. I mean, that's a long haul. It's a pretty good ways. But this is a truck chassis uh, with a you know, great big old engine geared low to carry the folks across, uh, you know, the edge of the park to the wonderful lodge so the, the visitors to the park could see Old Faithful and all of those things. You got a big uh, trunk, I guess you'd call it back there. But look, yeah, let's go, me, look, let's at go that. look at that, Dennis. You know, I love the contour back here. I mean, this is just, it's just a classic bus. Beautiful 30s era styling for 36. This is an original bus. It's not been restored. This is where uh, all the visitors to Yellowstone Park would put their luggage. All the them fancy were, leather suitcases, all right? those, Yeah, all that <laughs> fancy stuff. They didn't have Samsonite back then, I don't think. What do you think? I don't know, but I guess you pull this thing, pulling this monster, is a white engine, right? That's absolutely correct. It is a six-cylinder flathead engine. Uh, again, this has not been restored. All we have done is just uh, some, uh, some, some work to, uh, you know, the carburetor and new points of plugs. Just a wonderful, very simple design, a lot of power, a lot of torque. 
but uh, geared very low to four, four, speed four speed transmission can absolutely climb a tree if it needed to in first gear that in mean, first double gear, low right absolutely well, man, first low and listen there's some metal in that baby that is a, that is a that super is serious. heavy duty uh, <laughs> you know when you're putting the top back you actually climb up on the rear fender so it'd carry the weight of a 200 pound guy now this I and mean, this is a straight h pattern it's a pretty Pretty normal driving. Pretty normal driving. Something like a clutch. guy like even me could probably drive. Hey, something I like bet that. you can drive you it. Think you so? want to drive it, Dennis? I'd love to show you around a Yellowstone bus. Go Let's ahead. go do it. Close her up. Welcome back to my classic car. Man, it's gonna be so cool. Is there any trick to this part? Not much. It's a pretty simple deal, but all you got to do is get in, turn the switch on, and let's go. And and, and off you go. Huh? Off we go. You got it. Yeehaw. You got it. Yeehaw. Old faithful or bust? <laughs> oh yeah. The big yellow bus goes round and round. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't so how's she drive? Well, you know, it drives like a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have strong arms, buddy. Yeah, Guys. you do. And you can't be in a hurry. Can't be in a hurry. You know, down south here, we say it rides as rough as a log wagon. <laughs> Actually, this doesn't ride like no. a log wagon. It, you know what? It rides, it rides like a Yellowstone bus. <laughs> it does. It rides like a Yellowstone bus. Now, Dennis, I might take offense to that. <laughs> That's like saying, if your baby's ugly, it's a baby. <laughs> and I mean that in the most respectful way. In the way. most respectful way. <laughs> You know, I could have somebody to my left and I two know. people to my right. It's kind of weird there when you get in the driver's seat, you've got, you know, a whole two or three feet past the door to where you actually are supposed to drive. Now you're going to be putting your arm out the window on this one. It's kind of cool. You know, maybe the Yellowstone bus drivers didn't have tans on the red car. <laughs> well, so what do you think about uh, the yellow rose of Chattanooga? <laughs> the yellow rose of Chattanooga. <laughs> I do love it. I mean, in fact, I'm going to try a double clutch downshift. Here, Here we, we go. go, ladies and gentlemen. Can he do it? With ease, man, with ease. Huh. Like it's falling off a log. <laughs> you get looks in this thing too, don't you, Corky? You get the, all the craziest look because, you know, nobody ever sees something like this anywhere. I heard that. And I'm I'm that kind of guy. I like, I like the stuff that nobody, nobody ever, sees. ever sees. Yeah, I like oddball stuff. It's, yeah. uh, you know, it's just different. I love coming down here and visiting Corky. He's got some great cars, his daddy's got some great cars, and his daddy before him. Cork, if I come back, can I, can I play with something again? You sure can, Dennis. You're welcome to Chattanooga anytime, brother. Well, I don't know if I'll ever drive anything as cool as this. And remember, visit your national parks. Yellowstone or bust? Old Faithful, here we come. Let's go.